my new master at last. I am C2N2, steward of this vessel. It is my extreme good fortune to serve you. You were bought by a thieving gutless son of a cath hound. But this is my ship. You take orders from me. Got it? I am programmed to serve this vessel's captain, not my purchaser. I will happily accept your every command. C2 series droids represent the latest advances in everything from starship technical maintenance to nutritional advice tailored for your specific organic needs. Welcome aboard your Corellian XS light freighter, a marvel of customization. I can only speculate why such large engines were mounted to its hull. Along with the usual accommodations, you'll find a secure captain's locker for storing valuables. Your bridge contains an ever-updating map of the galaxy. It's quite beautiful to look at. Priority alerts from the Republic Network are accessible at the Holonet console. Long-range communications are available via the Holo terminal. And finally, the ship's intercom will inform your crew that you wish to meet. Do you have any questions, Master? Sounds like you're good at everything. Does that include combat? As you can see, I am not equipped for physical danger. My function is to maintain the starship as your home away from home. I am happy to assist you with any non-hazardous task, of course. I pride myself on the utmost attention to detail. What do you consider a non-hazardous task? I am programmed to modify other technology. I can also perform long-range surveillance and diplomacy. I'm quite useful, I assure you. Whenever you are ready to depart, consult the galaxy map on the bridge. The ship's computers will handle the rest. Oh, and you may wish to investigate the cargo compartment. The items within it arrived before I did.
I'm Agent Saganti with the Republic Customs Office. What brings you to my planet, Captain? My reasons are my business, understand? Stole the attitude, unless you want me to impound that ship of yours. The Republic Customs Office monitors all starship traffic and ensures no illegal goods are transported on or off this planet. There's a lot of contraband making its way around Taurus. If you see anything suspicious, I suggest you report it immediately. Why so much illegal activity around here? Lots of nice things are still buried in the ruins of old Taurus. This planet is one big party for grave robbers and scavengers. I take a special interest in every new arrival to my planet, Captain. Keep your nose clean and we won't have any trouble. Clear? I'll stay as clean as Alderaan Snow. We'll see about that. Enjoy your visit to Taurus. Welcome to Terrace. I'm Governor Suresh. On behalf of the Galactic Republic, I want to thank you for joining us in this historic project. For your safety, please do not travel beyond the military-secured safe zone outside the settlement. This world and our work here will shine as a beacon of hope to all of the Republic. But first, we have many obstacles to overcome. Together, we stand taller than any obstacle. Let's get to work. Together. Argo, you're leaking oil again. You want to set this whole warehouse on fire? The Maker said it is better to burn out than rust away. Perhaps I'm testing that wisdom, mistress. I'm looking for Beryl Thorn. That's me? Argo's what passes for my second in command. I recognize you from Risha's Holo. Let's get one thing straight. The only reason I agreed to help is because my contract supplying the Terrace Reclamation Project is at risk. Looked like easy credits. Turns out Terrace is anything but easy. There are lots of interesting ways to die. As long as you're breathing, you're still in business. Some business? I'm barely covering my own expenses. If I don't finish my contract, I don't get paid. Tired all my partner died on a supply run. Put me in a real bind. I'll find that vault, but I have to finish my contract to do it. You work for me, and I'll work for you. Deal? Can't your walk and rust bucket handle things? Not a chance. The scavengers out there would be on Argo like gundarks on fresh meat. I only have two deliveries left. Soon as you handle them both, we'll find your vault. The first job's for a Republic scientist named Vernon. He's got a research camp in Rackgold territory. What exactly am I delivering? Some kind of sensor equipment. Don't know what it's for. I'll start working on your job while you handle mine. Isn't cooperation grand? Hello again, Captain. I didn't know you and Thorn were acquainted. Agent Saganti, what a lovely surprise. It's only been a day since your last inquis- I mean, inspection. Don't you Republic Customs boys have better things to do than turn my warehouse upside down again? I can inspect this warehouse whenever I want. It's the law. Take Dr. Vernon's delivery, Captain. There's no reason for you to stick around. What kind of man would I be if I left you alone with this guy? A smart man. I can take care of myself. But thanks. Poke around the warehouse all you want, Agent. You won't find anything out of order. 
What did I just step in, Thorn? My apologies, sir. I believe that is my hydraulic fluid. Dear Adeli, I regret that your husband was killed yesterday by rat ghouls. Please accept my condolences. Dr. Soylan was an excellent scientist. I've never composed a death notice before. How did that sound? Why the blazes are you asking me? I need an honest opinion, and all my colleagues are deceased. Ah, I recognize the symbols on that container. My bio-alarms have finally arrived. Good, good. If only this had arrived in time to save my associates. Not your fault, certainly. We knew the risk of studying Rakuls. How did you manage to survive by yourself? I do seem to have beaten the odds. Perhaps there's something about me these creatures don't like. My colleagues and I were studying the Rakul's behavior, hoping to find a means of containing them. We can't afford to let the Rakul's impede our progress. The Republic's rebuilding efforts on Terrace are paramount to future prosperity. You're pretty fearless for a scientist. Fear obstructs understanding. Besides, my prospects for survival have just improved. I've isolated an identifying element in the Rakul's physiology, making it possible to detect and track their movements. The bio-alarms you brought will reveal how the creatures hunt. However, installing them will be a challenge with all my assistants dead. Consider them installed, Doc. How hard can it be? Indeed. All that's required are quick feet, basic technical know-how, and raw nerve. Things I see you possess in abundance. Place a bio-alarm at each survey station we've established, and I'll see you're amply rewarded. Amply rewarded is my middle name. Your parents must have been fascinating people. Come back when you're done, and we'll celebrate your success. Normally, I'd ask for your next of kin's hollow frequency, but I'd rather maintain some optimism. Good luck.
Splendid work. I'm already receiving date. I'm glad I was around to help out. You've done far more than help out, my friend. What you've done most definitely calls for generous compensation. Good show. Seems dangerous to stay out here all alone. I'm 100% safer now with the bio alarms in place. I'll be fine. Accept these credits with my extreme gratitude. I'll begin collating my data. Thank you again for everything. Hey, Captain. How are things out there? That crazy Republic scientist got his gear. Glad to hear it. That's one down, one to go. I finally located the other supplies you need to deliver. They were lost when Tyrodal got killed by the Rackgulls. A Republic patrol found the supplies with Tyrodal's remains, dropped everything off at an outpost near the lake. I guess the Rackgulls didn't leave much of him behind. Just bloody clothes. The Rackgulls turned Tyrodal into one of them. Ugh, I try not to think about it. All you have to do is swing by the outpost, grab the supplies, and take them to an engineer named Ovold. Ovold will give you some planetary core samples to bring back to me. Got it? That should be easy enough. Yeah, that's what Tyrodal said. Grab the supplies from the outpost, get them to Ovold, and return to me with his core samples. Good luck.
Bim Kanaya Nugan, a genim naya lak umnan mege. Nule lak apa jam kamgram, am kanem nang nemua inuk. I'm not afraid of anybody. Yang perlu amka, kalima naya kira. Bomo gala apa yang? Nilama imi amka amga? Kala jiwa nimok. Bemgam nyama naya aigam. That sounds like just what I need. Nibaga glamka, gakyam. Glag nimu amya galak. Naya na rankam. Kala ama mani mami. Libig bak. I'm a little rushed right now. Maybe later? Manub meraka naja. Kinama bam. Yak manala. Memgam gamgi. Nina gegwan. Am nerna hanak. Kamperem ganyam baji yang. Mani kikum bukam.
I handled everything just like you wanted. Nakag agib kik benabab. Neya agam berakaki. Mem amgab kugab kramanik. Umka kiga mayamak. Bemka naya nugan. Ejinim naya lak umnan mege. Construction authority ain't paying us to mope around.
kuchusa yo mata chitoya asubui mota uipa patoga wata kiko uba kiri wata buki donko. You never take those things off? Chobat i kafstuan dile jihulo kuta. Buka kampak nijit tonka yiliska chanaga kabanotase makipuna malituta odmishka. Errol said you have something for me to take back. Kuchusa yo mata chitoya asubui mota uipa. Poya toka changa goptula do bata wana wanki. Chaskruni do pat kurira do kanki kung. The scavengers must have a camp. Know where it is? Piti do tenya go kaka jojo. Da biska ku paliya. Pampawula ji ota kakoga huta nupisto. Barrel owes me a hefty bonus for this. Chobat i kafstuan dile ji hulo kuta. Ta uz azulas uval tung mi chakulka di maji. Kabano tase makipuna mali tuta odmishka.
reminder, mechanized travel is for official business only. Be safe out there. Better?
Why'd you have to go and kill everybody? Some of those guys were all right. I'm here for the planetary core samples. Hand them over. Planetary core samples, right. You work for Beryl Thorne, don't you? That's what I used to do. The name's Tyrodol. I was helping Beryl smuggle artifacts off Terrace disguised as core samples. I thought we'd get rich. Turns out Beryl's a soft touch. Instead of selling what we smuggle on the Imperial market, Beryl gives relics to descendants of Tara survivors for a tiny finder's fee. Ridiculous. Smuggling relics off Terrace is against the law. Exactly. It's dangerous work, and we should be earning a killing. I let Beryl think rat ghouls killed me, and went into business with the scavengers. They had a bright idea to increase profits. Why sell a relic to the Imperials once we can sell it a dozen times? These droids are making copies of the relics. You'll get yourself killed crossing the Empire. By the time my buyers figure things out, I'll be far, far away from Imperial space. Let's be smart about this. I'll give you a hefty payout and a cargo pod of counterfeit relics if you keep my operation quiet. You go home richer, Beryl gets some relics to give away, and I stay in business. What do you say? I think she deserves better than to be cheated by you. Oh well, I guess we finish this the hard way. Droids! Code Black! <laughs>
Ichi kospa ini gudad iji liska chanagawa. Wo grani tampi o da pushi wompa, putula musta. These aren't core samples, Ovold, and you know it. Moja jo chaluka. Kuna chi do nik titoki, saya tupi nu aviti. The cargo pod is full of terrace relics. Se gota do muti ki hasa da punyo, lis di woto. Kuto yi gumpa, jiji no lia makichisa. Doi ka boda pachi isa jonki. Pay up, or I go to Republic Customs. Chaskruni do pat kurira, do kanki kung. Ya pawa kolka do rundi. Kuna wabanda dungo. I'll go have a chat with Beryl now. No cha konji scotcha punchy. I can count the number of times I've been truly impressed in my life on one hand, Captain. Congratulations, you walking in with those core samples just got added to the list. Why didn't you tell me about your side business? I thought we were friends. Well, I guess there's no point in beating around the banth anymore. How'd you find out what I'm really up to? What happened with the scavengers? Turns out Tyrodal faked his death by Rackles and joined the scavengers. He told me everything. I never liked that guy. Where is he now? He's fertilizing this beautiful swamp. Stupid Deveronian. He probably drew first. Sorry I didn't keep things on the up and up, but you're working with Risha. I've got trust issues there. I don't want these relics decorating some fat senator's bedroom. They're going to the descendants of terror survivors where they belong. I can't argue with that. Oh. Well, I'm glad you feel that way. Hey, look at that. The Republic just updated my contract log as complete. And right on time, my spaceport friend granted me access to the Republic sensor array. Let's find us a vault. What's holding us up? Cool your thrusters. I'm working as fast as I can. Mm, sensors are picking up the vault's unique radiation signature. That's good. Aha, there it is. Oh, your vault is in zone zero. That's bad. Give me all the details. Zone zero is in no man's land. When the Republic first got here, it sent a bunch of surveyors to map the region. One surveyor made it back alive. Said the place is overrun with things worse than rat ghouls. Nobody goes there. No man should march into certain death without a kiss for luck. I'll ask, but Argo's real picky about his men. I beg your pardon, mistress. You'll need serious hardware to crack that vault. Risha's good at getting into places she isn't supposed to. Maybe talk to her. It's been interesting knowing you, Captain. Have fun out there.
think you're all right. Hope you got that vault's location. I eavesdropped on Skavik and some mercenaries over an encrypted comm channel. They're trying to beat us to the vault. Sounds like they're closing in. Beryl says the vault is buried in a place called Zone Zero. Then we're not sunk yet. Unlike us, the mercenaries don't have the vault's exact coordinates. From what I overheard, Skavik's men aren't having much luck in their search for the vault. Something out there is eating those mercenaries alive. Literally. For once, I'm glad Terrace is a death trap. The creatures are slowing the mercenaries down, but not enough. Get to the vault as fast as you can, then open the lock with this Geonosian slicer module. It took me months to trade for this. Don't lose it, understand? Stop bossing me around. Got it? Don't be so thin-skinned. I'm just excited is all. Good luck, partner. Hope I see you again soon. I'll let you know what I dig up. I'll be waiting, Captain.
Remember me? Agent Saganti with the Republic Customs Office. I have some questions about Beryl Thorne. What do you want to know, Agent? I suspect Thorne is smuggling relics, and I think I know how she's doing it. What I lack is proof. I need someone to step forward and testify so I can arrest her. I'm looking for an honest citizen, Captain. If I see one, I'll let you know. That's funny. Really? I'm authorized to pay a generous sum for any lead resulting in an arrest. Think about what's best for you. Are you absolutely sure you don't know anything about Beryl Thorne's criminal activities? Tyridol is the real smuggler agent Zaganti. Thorne's partner? What do you have to back up that accusation? The crazy Deveronian attacked me at the scavenger base. It was his last mistake. You admit to being with scavengers and killing a man? What makes you think I won't arrest you? Tyridol wasn't the only scavenger I killed. I did you all sorts of favors, Agent. If Tyridol was smuggling relics with those scum, they deserve what they got. Sounds like I might be wrong about Thorn. Unfortunately, I may never be able to verify your story. I'm afraid that means no reward. Just leave poor Beryl alone. She's innocent. Nobody's innocent. If I've learned anything in this job, it's that. You've been very helpful, Captain. Goodbye. Beryl needs to clear out of here. That agent won't give up. Maybe she'll pay me for the tip. Is everything about credits with you? We should drop by our place on our way to Zone Zero. It's the least we can do. Didn't expect to see you again. What's the occasion, Captain? Republic Customs is on to you. I kept them off your back. You have the vault's coordinates. You didn't have to come warn me, but you did. Where I come from, the best friends are the ones who lie for you. Guess you're a better friend than I thought. Friendship isn't all I had in mind for us. Argo, start packing. I'd like some privacy. Anything to get off this mega forsaken planet, Mistress Beryl? I'll, uh, just go count the rat ghouls. Been saving a bottle of Cassandran brandy for a special occasion. This seems like one. Come on. I wish we had more time, but I better get going. I want you to have this, 
saved me more times than I can count. I hope it does the same for you. I didn't expect a reward, but thanks. It's not a reward, just something to remember me by. I'll get off Terrace while the getting's good. I know Argo's ready. You have no idea, Mr. Sparrow. Thanks for everything, Captain. Greetings. You are cleared for the following travel routes. Greetings. You are cleared for the following travel routes.
There. Better? big on completing sentences, are you? You're just... I can't believe... You're not supposed to be here! We've been through ten kinds of pain getting to this vault, and not to watch you open it first. Skavik, you there? You want to see this, boss? We're at the vault, but we're not alone. 
<laughs> too perfect. I love it when everything comes together like this. How's life treating you, Captain? You enjoying my ship and all my stuff? What about that two-faced Risha? Doing great, thanks. You expect me to believe you melted that Snow Queen? Come on, she's looking for a real man. Still owe you for that mess on Coruscant. You have any idea the grief I'm taking? I could kill everybody who cracks a joke, but uh, that's a lot of work. So why don't you just die already? I'm ready to settle this when you are. Glad to hear you're on board with the plan. Roxer, I want you and the boys to spare no effort killing my friend, and make it as painful as possible. You heard the boss. Fry this fool! I took the liberty of dusting your quarters, Master. Your respiratory health is one of my top priorities. You got the astrogation chart, didn't you? I can tell by the look on your face. Did you ever doubt me? If I did, you've just made me a believer for life. That astrogation chart belonged to an exchange gangster named Davik Kang. Davik personally mapped dozens of hyperlanes between the core and outer rim systems. He found shortcuts and hideouts all over the galaxy. How does this chart help us find Noctrayan's riches? Patience. Good things come to those who trust their partners. Have you studied much galactic history, Captain? Interesting patterns emerge if you pay attention. Davit Kang's criminal empire ended when this planet was destroyed. Nock Drayan's empire was born when he destroyed a planet. I'd like to destroy a world someday. I hear it's the thing to do if you want to leave your mark on the galaxy. Certainly worked for Nock. Once upon a time, there was a pirate haven on the Outer Rim called Mandelia. Thousands of criminals lived there. One bright morning, Nock Drayan's freighter dropped out of hyperspace over Mandelia. He demanded the pirates surrender to him or die. Pirates aren't known for surrendering. They weren't afraid of a lone, lightly armed freighter. They thought Nock was crazy. When the pirates sent their reply, Nock launched a single rocket at their settlement. The warhead was tipped with an Imperial nerve toxin. The entire settlement died in less than a minute. Where did Nock get an Imperial warhead? He stole it, of course. He'd been looking for a way to take down Mandelia in one shot, and that was the perfect solution. That day at Mandelia, Nock Drain went from being a low-rent smuggler to one of the richest criminals in the galaxy. Anyway, that's how the legend goes. I should probably let you get back to work. 
How about some more history lessons someplace private? You're incorrigible. Come see me when you're irresistible and we'll talk. At any rate, I'm ready to leave Taris. I'm sure we can find someplace more interesting to be. I still have business here. Please don't take too long. The smell of Taris is getting into all my clothes. I never like asking for favors, Captain, but I think maybe we know each other well enough by now. I want to look for my cousin Rona. She's all the family I got left, and I think she should know what happened. Wasn't your whole family killed on Ord Mantell? Rona came with me when I left for the brigade, but she jumped ship at the first port. All she ever wanted was to get off Ord Mantell. I thought maybe we could track her down. You'd like her. She's really the reason I'm here. You two will be back together before you can say a verbal thirst vibroblade. Uh, a verbal... Th verbal... <sighs> so not that soon, then. Rona was kind of our family rebel. We used to have a blast together. She liked me to run interference, so her father never caught her on dates with off-worlders. I look forward to meeting her. On second thought, maybe I shouldn't introduce you to... Rona's always had a nose for trouble. I remember one time, Uncle came looking for Rona while she was on the shuttle pod with some Agamarian pirate. I was about twelve. I didn't know how else to distract Uncle, so I started to fight. Got the whole ship confiscated. I never did find out how Rona got out of city jail. <laughs> 